Hello Sagittarius, this is Steph at Finding You Tarot and this is your weekly reading for the 6th to the 12th of September, September of November 2023. This is a general reading so can't resonate for everyone so only take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest for someone else. I read for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus so do check out your other placements if you're interested and um, I do have personal readings open so if you want one all the details are in the description box below so without further ado let's get into it Sagittarius been really interesting readings first thing this morning I'm doing this um straight after my morning run <laughs> um and I've just done Aries and Leo and it was very much sort of um it was quite interesting. They were quite work-focused readings this week, interestingly. Career-focused. Sorry, no, I keep being kind of corrected here by spirit. I keep saying work and they keep saying no career. So it would be interesting to see what comes out for you, Sagittarius, for this coming week. I mean, the energies can stretch a bit. It might be something that you are experiencing or that you're about to experience. Right. Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands for you. Oh, this is interesting. The Three of Pentacles. I mean, this is interesting because this the Three of Pentacles heavily featured in Aries, in um, Leo's reading as well. The Star. Going out of the Empress. The Ten of Okay, and what's Spirit's advice? The Queen of Swords, okay. Yeah. So, first thing that I'm seeing really here is right at the centre of your, your reading, this Seven of, um, of Wands, is, is it's about protecting your, your barriers, your, your boundaries. Uh, firstly, knowing what they are, you know, and being and, and, and then being very firm about them. You know, this is this guy here is 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 kind of he's uh, you know he's he's got all these sticks being poked at him but he's 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 protecting his space now i'm being drawn here to the fact that he's and, and I'm, I'm never drawn to this normally i do know it i do know about it but it, it, i i'm never drawn to it but i'm being very drawn here to the fact that he's got odd shoes on and so I feel it feels like there's be a little bit of you've been caught on the hop, you know, that you're having to sort of jump up and protect yourself. And I said right at the beginning of the reading that you have to know what your boundaries are. And I think that, and I think that this is something that perhaps you've you've not been very good at in the past and you have allowed, um, you know, people to uh, manipulate you into doing things that you don't really want to do um i think there's a there's a, a much clearer energy you know spirit's advice here is the queen of swords um you know she's she's very much you know yes i'm open you can come forward um but but you know don't lie to me i know the truth i'm you know i'm very firm about these things and you know she's she's not going to take any bs from anybody um and and this feels and being drawn to the um the butterflies on her crown and and so this feels like this is a bit of a transformation for you that you're that you've you've perhaps ended you, you've been in situations in the past where where you've where there's been unfulfilled potential here you know this is a good card generally but the, these these are these pentacles are not um gold you know and they're the only uh pentacles in this suit that are not gold so, you know, this is potential as yet to be fulfilled. So I think you've maybe in the past had, had situations where um, where, you know, you have uh, sort of done all of the work, whether it be in a relationship, whether it be in a, in a work scenario, you, you've been the giver and you've you've received little back and you felt other people have benefited from your hard work. And, you know, actually, it's funny, it's funny because Leo had this same sort of vibe about it with this card. Um, but it feels, it feels like there's a change in this, you know. I think you've been going through a process of evaluation. I'm not going to hold the star up. 
um, because she's got no clothes on. Um, and if I cover her up, you can't really see the card anyway. Um, but YouTube doesn't like nudity. So, but it, it feels like with this, this star here that there's a, a, a strong sense that, um, that you've been that that you've been doing some work on yourself you know that that you you have been aware of these these slightly sort of self defeating um tendencies and behaviors um and they are and, and that work is about to come to fruition because you know we have the empress in the past position which indicates that you have done you have done that you know that work has been a success you you are now sitting much more in your power we have um we have aquarius and we have taurus and libra on the table here um but it feels it feels like you're you're sitting in much more of a situation of um, the Empress being the the receiver, you know, she is the feminine energy of receiving, um, the ultimate in receiving. You know, she she doesn't come to you, you go to her, um, and you give to her, you know. So so I think I think you've you've done a lot of work, perhaps maybe some stuff about the law of attraction and vibrational um work to raise your vibration to that point where actually you, you're not going to find yourself in these situations where people sort of take advantage of you and take advantage of your good nature. Um, and, and spirit's very supportive. Yeah, you know, if you're feeling a little bit, Oh, I don't know if I can do that or if, or I, I don't know that I like that about myself now or whatever, you know, uh, spirit's actually really, really supportive of this energy and they're really encouraging you to carry on with it you know it's very difficult when when one has been a giver in life and 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 always sort of thought oh no well, maybe I don't deserve um that you know that, that to actually suddenly start to say no I'm not going to do that anymore that feels very very difficult but actually spirit really wants you to carry on doing it because it's going it's 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 going to yield there's great stuff coming in for you here. There is emotional fulfillment here. Um, there could even be um, a sort of some, some sort of. I I almost and I never get this with this, but it is a ten, so it, it's a culmination, which which means it's a it's also a beginning as well. You know, endings and endings are beginnings. Um, it it feels like you're 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 getting to a point where you can actually yeah okay I just heard yeah because there's a rainbow on this card but you know I just heard somewhere over the rainbow um it, it's like you, you you can dare to dream now you can dare to dream Sagittarius whatever it is your dream is whether it is you know happy home happy family happy career happy you know sort of independence happy whatever 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 it is time for you to dare to dream because you have made those changes which protect yourself but also keep you open you know as I said about the queen of swords you can come forward but just don't no bs and that's not what we're about here you know so it feels this feels incredibly beautiful and positive that and and you know <laughs> I just said congratulations congratulations Sagittarius because you have done the work you have done the work and now it is about to pay off for you big time but just keep you know it's like it, it's an ongoing process okay thank you spirit it's an on this is an ongoing process you know this it, it's not like oh now I've done this it's like okay right you know that's it I can now just sit back no, it's about it's about maintaining maintain those boundaries as well. Now that you have them, maintain healthy boundaries. Do not build walls though. But Sagittarius, wonderful reading. Love this for you. Love it. I'm going to leave it there. If you did enjoy this, please do like, share, and subscribe. Uh, would really help with the growth of the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And um, I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.